y'all so t- today i late with this nigga i met a few weeks ago out with my friends this nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself why i didn't block him bitch i don't know but today i was bored and i had time so he texted me like can we meet for drinks and i'm like yeah meet me here they got the best fucking oysters in atlanta like salute brad squad how y'all doing today come on in we got a good one Atlanta woman messed around and found out y'all and when I tell you guys this is why I still believe in dating guys I still believe in dating there is still solutions and answers and strategies to dating these modern women so without any further ado let's get into it let's watch this one to the end guys y'all so t- <laughs> today I late with this nigga I met a few weeks ago out with my friends this nigga been texting me for weeks talking to himself why i didn't block him bitch i don't know but today i was bored and i had time so he texted me like can we meet for drinks and i'm like yeah meet me here they got the best fucking oysters in atlanta like now guys remember last week when i was teaching you guys about your non-sexual attention and why we get flaked on guys you see this is an example of why men get flaked on because you not unavailable you too available you you see how she said that you know he, he was talking to himself in her inbox so why would you think why would you think when she do give you an answer why would you think that she really fuck with you why would why wouldn't the light bulbs pop off like oh, this chick fitting to use me she can't possibly want me now and that's because you guys get the number she show you a little bit of interest and you guys go giving her everything, making yourself so available. All right. Hey, hands down. So I'm like, yes, I can get some content. Come on. It's so good. They love this seafood, guys. Their fixation with crab legs. Munching away on his dime. They would never order this on their pockets, guys. Y'all, when the fourth one came out, he was looking at me crazy. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, baby, you invited me out. I'm going to eat. And I was coming anyway. But I ain't going to lie. No, I wouldn't have did all that. But I did do all that. It was so good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Mm. It was just so good. Like, I just, I had to. It was so good. So, you hear her selfish ass? Do you hear this selfish, self centered piece of turd? Yo, this is the shit that I be talking about, guys. Don't be garnering and don't be governing feminism for some coochie, guys. All this for some woman attention, guys. You see? And she said, mm. and this is why when you get her, you got to rearrange, you got to rearrange all that stupid shit that's in the head. Because the last nigga, you know what I mean, guys? But stick around. Oh, after that. I'm like, baby, mm, what's next? What I'm about to eat? These potatoes, mm, they were so good. in the crab cakes, everything was so good. 10, 10, baby. Why the fuck this bitch ass nigga say he going to the bathroom and never come back? the fuck i'm like hold the fuck on it's been like 10 20 30 minutes bitch what the fuck this nigga hey i had to end up grabbing a tab bitch nigga left me with his little one fucking drink And that's what you deserve, man. This is why, guys, I still believe in dating. See? Because when you got the go, you got the go. And if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Smart move, man. Salute to the brother. Shout out to Pookie, yo. <laughs> he wasn't that dumb, sis, ma'am. Yeah, bitch. I'm so glad, bitch. Keep me some money. Because, what? That was crazy to me. 
And I said, bitch, you run out on the tab. He's talking about some, I'm offering you to drink. The fuck are you talking about, bitch? And then we got Benny here trying to call me out. Baby, I left $11 cash, $15 on my car. And mind you, I paid for the nigga drink. The fuck? As you should, ma'am. They don't like to pay nothing, yo. But that was a good one, guys. And you see why? You just want to pour into yourself, stay on your purpose, and women notice you. Let the woman notice you, guys. You be the flower. You know what I mean? The flower don't chase no bees, bro. The bees chase the flower, guys. The flower just pour in to itself and grow and flourish. All right? That's how you got to look at this dating thing. And that's how you got to look at relationships, guys. The thirstier you are, they capitalize on that thirst, guys. No matter how thirsty you are, you got to pretend that you're not that thirsty when it comes to these women, guys. And if you get yourself caught up in the trap, it's always an exit. Remember, it's always an exit. All right? Guys, y'all wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly. Do not play with your life. Guys, there's going to be a video that pop up at the end so you can continue your viewing experience over here at the School of Common Sense. You should click into that one. All right, guys?